John Talley with Partzilla.com. Today we're going to be working with our 2011 Sportsman 850. Specifically, we're going to be looking at the uh, the braking system, in particular the uh, the caliper. I'm going to start with the front right one. What we're going to do is go ahead and bring it up, pull the tower off, and take a look at it. This one we've already replaced the uh, the brake pads on, and they were worn all the way down, and it was actually eating into the rotor. So what I want to find out is why. So I want to make sure that the calipers aren't you know hanging up and causing it to wear prematurely. So let's get her up in the air and get started. All right, guys. So we've got her up in the air, and like I said before, we had replaced the uh, the brake pads. And, uh, in another video, I'm going to show you how to replace this rotor as well. But what I think is happening is the uh, the caliper is hanging up and prematurely wearing the the brake pads. So what we're going to do is go ahead and pop it back off. All right. While it's still attached to the uh, the carrier, you want to go ahead and take out this little five millimeter Allen on the back. What that plug does when you remove it. It allows that pin to go back a little bit further so you can actually get the brake pad off the caliper. If not, it makes it almost impossible. Next, we want to go ahead and release the caliper and push the, uh, the piston back into it just a tick. There we go. There it released. After that, go and remove our brake line. Something odd about Polaris, sometimes they have a mixture of metric and U.S. standard uh, nuts and bolts. And this happens to be one of those uh, instances. The, uh, the banjo bolt on the brake line is actually a half inch. So if you go to put a 13 on there, it's probably going to strip it. So you don't want to do that. And of course, since we're opening up the, the system to remove this, of course, we're going to get air in it. So that'll require us, after we're finished rebuilding the, uh, the caliper, we're going to need to re-bleed the system. And I've done a video that walks you through how to do that process. So you'll need to reference it to complete the job. All right, there's your banjo bolt and the two crush washers. Make sure you don't lose either one of those. Now we can go ahead and remove the carrier from the hub. And that's just two 15 millimeter bolts. All right. So let's head over to the uh, teardown bench and get this pulled apart. Okay, we've got her over on our teardown bench, specifically the vise, makes it a little bit easier to deal with. Now you can push it all the way in and remove your pads. All right, next, slide it off of the carrier. And what we're going to do to get the piston out of there is just use a punch. Just put it straight through where your banjo bolt was and we're going to gently tap it out. Just like that. All right. And I think I was right. That outer, it's got two seals inside there, and I'll pull them out in a minute. You've got the inner, then you've got the outer. It's supposed to be keeping the dirt out. And I can see that it's got some buildup right where that outer seal would be. So I'm betting that's going to be what was causing it to kind of stick in there and not you know, retract just a tick once the pressure was um, taken off of it. Well, you've got it broken down this far. You want to inspect these rubber boots that are on those two pins. If you need to replace them, and these are going to be your part numbers for those. 
tires look to be in pretty good shape, so I'm not going to have to do that. All right, let's get that seal out. Remember, there's two of them. The outer one. And then your pressure seal right there. All right, the bore looks okay. I don't see any... Uh, scuff marks or anywhere where it was freezing up completely. But what we're going to do is um, get some uh, brake cleaner. Go ahead and get that cleaned out and then uh, put in a new set of seals. All right, so give me a few minutes to get all this cleaned up and then we'll start reassembling it. All right, so we've got her cleaned up. The bore looks good. The piston itself, no uh, real major wear marks anywhere. So I think we're good to go on it. So we've got our seals, get those reinstalled. Careful not to put any dirt in your newly cleaned out caliper bore. One I'm putting in first is what I consider the compression one. It's the one without any grooves in it. It's non-directional, so they're in an inner in a, or an outer. There we go. Uh, the one on the outside, you can actually see a single groove right in the middle. Just to make sure there's no dirt or dust in there. All right, before you put your piston in, I want to go ahead and coat those down with some DOT4 brake fluid. When you're inserting it, you want to make sure you do it evenly so it doesn't get stuck in there. There we go. And that went in a whole lot smoother than it came out. So I think that may have solved our problem. Go ahead and bottom it out. Now we can get it put back on our backing plate. I want to apply a little grease to both of those pins. Next, this is a little bit tricky, but you need to get those boots back around the outside of that, uh, that edge on the pin. Keep dirt out of there. Like that. And since we've got it out here, go ahead and get our um, brake pads back on. All right, from here, we can go ahead and get it back on the machine. All right. Go ahead and get her slid back on there. Those two 15 millimeters back in place. Go ahead and get that Allen cap back on there. And let's get our brake line reinstalled with the banjo bolts. All right, well that completes the rebuild. The, uh, the left side is identical to it, so it's the same exact procedure. And actually the, uh, the caliper on the back, it's built the same way. The seals are a little bit bigger, so it's not the same part number as the, uh, the seals for the front. So you wanna keep that in mind if you're having to rebuild the back. But it's basically the same procedure. All right, from here, all we need to do is bleed the brake system on it. And we have a, vi a video that shows you how to do that. So if you would reference it, and that'll complete the job for it. Listen, we appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments or something you couldn't see me do, just leave it in the section below. And if you need any of these parts, come see us at partzilla.com. Appreciate you watching. Thank you.